it's a very valuable topic to discuss. Run app method works both on Windows and Android. Now let's discuss the syntax of this method. Command string is a CMD command, a .bat file too, to launch an application or a file name associated with the corresponding application. Current directory. Specify the catalog or path to the application we need to launch. That's optional. Wait for completion. Wait for completion of running application before the work continues. Optional. Return code. It contains system exit code. The value passed by application to the operating system if everything is OK. Otherwise, the return is undefined. Optional. Let's discuss an example of calling the default browser of your Android to open the specific link. Specify an address of the website. Make an intent using runapp method. The application for the past command string will be chosen automatically, judging by its type. As you can see, nothing special here. So let's upgrade our application to make a multimedia view possible. We don't need this code anymore. We create a user item form to work with our multimedia file. We add two attributes with data paths object, description and object.filename. and also a corresponding command to open a multimedia file. The procedure in the form module is as follows. Create a new file specifying the path to our current multimedia object. Create a file of the same extension. Get a URL in the 1C Enterprise format to an InfoBase object. In our case, it's a multimedia file. We get the file using its InfoBase address. Save the file that we got using URL to the file name without a dialog box. Pass our file to RunApp and call the corresponding Android application. The application should be installed and accessible.